I'm Tom Bishop, recently gone like non-drafting, middle distance racing, stopped doing the short course racing last year. Did a little bit of racing last year just to get some experience and started my season off in Miami, Clash Miami, I came second there. Didn't really know what to expect, did not expect to kind of ride off the front but that's what happened. So kind of gave me a bit of confidence going into the a race the week after in Chile where I just applied the same tactic, got about five and a bit minutes off on the bike and just like held on for the run. So yeah, it's um, quite a lot changed since last year in terms of like how I'm dealing with races and being a bit more consistent, not make, making as many mistakes. The great thing about these early two races is that it's like boosted my points in the PTA rankings quite a bit. So I jumped from 70th to 29th by the end of the kind of racing block. So yeah, that kind of gave me a shot for getting into the PTO champs in Ibiza. It, my slot rolled down because it's top 26 automatic and then it's some wild cards, but obviously not everyone wants to race. So yeah, I got the nudge a couple of weeks ago, which was absolutely, well, it's wicked really. Like it, these are the big races that I really want to do. And yeah, I got, got a shout at it and it's in two weeks time, just, just over. So yeah, can't wait. What's it been like changing from short course to long course? Uh, the difference between short course and long, not loads. I've just, last year I did, when I did some racing, I raced Dallas PTO, uh, the, the US Open, and I got absolutely smashed on the bike. Like, I had my pants down. So I need to go back and work on that. Like, obviously, everyone talks about how big the bike is. It's like the longest part of the race. It's where you can make the most time or lose the most time. So this winter it was all about the bike. So I spent probably at least 18 hours a week on the bike over winter. Some of those went, I don't know, above that, maybe maybe 20 hours, like 650K and stuff. But it's dropped a little bit now, I'm back in the UK, that was, that was out on camp. But yeah, big focus is on, on the riding and just a bit more like strength endurance for the run. So I've been doing lots of long runs at like kind of first threshold pace. So what would that be in K is like 340, ish K just under six minute mile in. So not necessarily like a session, but it's just like an up pace long run. So I was doing up to like 30 ish K of that Saturday morning and just like a shortish run session midweek just to kind of keep the speed there. Cause I, I felt like I did a lot of race pace stuff last year when I was prepping for these races. And I just felt a bit flat and I felt like my limiting factor was actually the fact that I'd not gone above race pace at all. So I'm just doing some slightly over speed work just to kind of, yeah, keep, keep the race form there. And obviously we've seen some really amazing performances this year already in the run. So I feel like it's going to be hot swim, bike and run in Ibiza. I feel like you've got real good guys across the board. So just to try and kind of be consistent and there or thereabouts, I think you just got to, just got to nail all through to be honest.
So today, uh, this morning I did a threshold swim, 3K at around like 110 pace. I won't go into too many details there. Then just an easy run in the morning, 10K. And then this afternoon I was on the TT bike, did like a bit of warm up, hour warm up with some tempo. And I did five by eight minutes as 40 20s. And so this is like over threshold, just under threshold. So like um, that sort of session. And I, it's hard to say where I, do, where I do the actual sessions on like a circuit. So you got ups and downs. So sometimes the ons are at like 350, sometimes the ons are at like 300, depending on what part of circuit you're at. And the same, sometimes the offs were at like 180 sometimes they're at 300 so it's just like a hard eight minute effort with like quite a few variations in pace just because i think pto and IV is going to be quite spiky with some of the hills and the ups and downs so i just really want to kind of be able to change pace change gear go with like surges and moves if possible So yeah, I did that session, then did a runoff, did 12 minutes as 60 seconds at kind of race pace, 60 seconds just off race pace. So similar sort of idea to the bike. But yeah, just obviously trying to just get used to race pace running a little bit. And um, that went pretty well. I think I averaged 325s actually for the whole thing, so it's a quick day. I feel like it's going pretty well and looking forward to the race in a few weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks until the race, so... And when do you travel? Travel Monday before. Unfortunately, I can't get out any earlier because I booked my flights, but the weather looks awful next week, so I kind of want to get away, but I'm committing to it here. Yeah. 